everyone, welcome to PC Academy. In this video, we're going to be fitting a Kraken 360 liquid cooling system, uh, radiator with three fans, uh, which is very nice. The customer has supplied that. And also um, some Liansai um, RGB fans, three of that the customer wants putting in the case. Uh, we've worked on this case before, it's a very nice design, uh, looks really nice with um, LEDs and that in it. So there's no point in going on about it. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video and make a start. So the liquid cooling system normally has a back plate that goes behind the motherboard. Uh, so to try and save myself from having to remove the whole board, I uh, will take out uh, these two expansions and that should give me access then to the rear of the motherboard. Okay, so start by removing the CPU fan cooler. Just clean this thermal paste off. Because we're going to be applying some new paste anyway, or some may come already on the new cooler. So I'm not going to remove the CPU because sometimes when thermal paste has got round the edges and you remove it, there is a danger of actually getting it then on the actual pins. So we're not going to do that. A bit of um, Residue thermal paste just around the corners here is not going to cause us any problems whatsoever. So this is the cooling system the Custom wants installing, which is the uh, NZXT Kraken 360. So obviously a long radiator with three fans and um, temp sensor on the uh, CPU cooler. Okay, so your usual uh, back plates and screws. Three fans, and then the CPU cooler block, radiator, and connecting cables. So one thing I generally do before I fit the fans onto the radiator or anything like that, is make sure how it's going to fit and that there's enough clearance because there's quite a big four connector there to the board and with the rad and the fan on we have to make sure there's enough clearance so we'll determine how this is going to be fitted first so i'm assuming i'm going to want it in there and we can get it in that's plenty of room for the CPU cooler. Okay, that goes in there. Literally, I think only just about fits. Now, unless the fans, oh, there's going to be enough clearance for the fans there. So we're assuming with this type of case. This top may come off and we can fit the fans on the other side. So let's have a look at that. There we go. So we're assuming now that the radiator could possibly go either on there and the fans underneath. Oh, 
Okay, so the plan that I've come up with is I'm going to fit the plate in here and then we're going to fit the radiator on top and the fans underneath. That way it's blowing colder through the rad and actually out through the vents then rather than the other way around. Plus I think it will look a lot neater. So that's the way that we're going to do it. Okay, so this is why you never rush these things and you check and keep checking so you're happy. So we are going to mount that on there like that. Okay, so we've got the radiator roughly in the right spot. Always remember this is going to be turned over, so you have to think about where your wiring for your fans are when it's turned over. So when that comes over, the wiring really needs to be at the back. So that is how we're going to fit the fans with the wiring at the rear. So let's make a start and get the first fan screwed into place. Okay, don't make my mistake. That's gonna cram up to the wire and I don't like it tight. So we're gonna take the screws out and we're gonna rotate it one way until everything is in place. So the fan is probably going to be better there and then the next one to follow suit and then that way the wires are not getting trapped. Okay, so let's try and get this radiator in. Fans are clear of any wiring, so we can get this screwed back down for now. The idea behind getting this screwed back down is so that we know everything is in the correct place before we start connecting the wiring or anything else. So we're going to replace the top for now because I'm not going to be doing the wiring part yet. that just protects the radiator while I'm working on it on its side. Okay, so we now need to get the uh, socket 1700 uh, razors and the uh, backing plate installed. Okay, so we've got all the screws in, radiator and fans are in, we've got this wiring that has to go to the pump, we'll take this off now, and we've got a big block connector right there, so I think the thing to do now is connect the wiring into the block. That will only go one way. Take your time. You don't want to be bending any pins. That's locked in. And then the wires that come off it are for the CPU, USB, for the fans, and SATA for power. So we're going to get this fitted onto the motherboard first. It's already got new thermal paste, so we don't need to do any more to get this connected. We'll 
go corner to corner. Okay, so that's all four screws down and tightened up. So what we'll need to do now is run some of this wiring through the gap. So that's the wiring pushed through the gap. We'll tie wrap that, keep that neat. Connect the CPU part. So we're gonna remove the graphics card because I've got to get to USB port at the bottom for the fan. There we go, on card. So the USB ports are at the bottom here, so we're gonna run the cable down, up through the gap and plug it into the USB. Bees. Okay, that's the USB connected. Put the graphics card back. Right, so we need to connect up now the three fans that are on the radiator and that connects to these connectors here. Okay, so that's all three fans connected to the wiring. And then we've got the SATA power that also needs to be connected. So we'll connect that now to a spur SATA connector. And then the next stage from here is to test to make sure that it actually works. Okay, so let's fire this up and make sure that all the fans are spinning. So the PC is still booting, so that's good. That's showing the temperature and all fans are spinning. So, so far, so good. So we're currently downloading uh, the cam software for the NZXT pump, which should hopefully then give us a bit of RGB to work with. Okay, so the liquid cooling is now all done. Uh, the customer wants uh, these fancy uh, fans installing, which seem to have quite a lot of wiring, separate little modules that connect to the fan, which I've never seen before, uh, central hub, etc., etc. So we're gonna make a start now and getting these fans fitted in, and uh, hopefully we'll get these working. Okay, so it would appear where the pins are here that goes into there and then we'll slide in that's the plan so that's how that locks in then you've got two wires that needs to be connected uh, to the central hub so we'll do this with all three fans okay this is the third fan and make sure that it really clicks into place there you go now you know it's completely in what we've decided to do um, with these because they're going side by side there is we've um, locked them together which the booklet says that you can do so that's what we've done
Okay, so we'll just get all the screws in now. Right, so the fans are now in. This is the cabling for the fans. So this will now all have to be connected to a central hub and then wiring from the central hub to the main board. So we'll connect the SATA one first, make sure you get it correct, get the pins in the right order. Two slots, so it can only go in one way. Take your time. That's now in. Okay, let's plug the tiny one in to the tiny slot. That will cut out there. Okay, so that's all three connections done. You turn it over, there's apparently grouping numbers on it. Group one, group two, group three, group four. Right, so let's connect the cables in. It's two different types per fan, two different shapes. So we'll get that connected. Okay, so the lights are now in and running and the um, lighting is controlled by this program which is called l connect 3 so the only thing left to sort out now is to uh, get this module situated somewhere um, you do get sticky pads to actually stick it to surfaces but we're not going to do that in case uh, we have to remove it in the future we're going to possibly fit it up here um, and tie wrap it in place that way it's secure and can't move and uh, it's easy to get at should we need to add more fans in the future okay so that's everything back in place screwed down as it should be so it's just a case now of booting this back up and uh, doing one final test So there we have it, uh, the liquid cooling and the fans and everything all fitted and working. It's nice uh, when a job goes straight forward, just got to take your time and be patient. You can't rush these kind of jobs because you need to get it right. Uh, make sure everything is neat and works as it should. All the software has been downloaded and updated. So from my testing, everything appears to work just fine. So we'll give uh, the customer a ring and let him know that his PC is ready to collect. And uh, we'll wait and see what other work's due to come in. So until the next video, thanks for watching. Bye for now.